These two scientists have something they need you to hear about the world's oceans. My name is Matthew England. I'm a professor of ocean and climate dynamics at the University of New South Wales. I study how the oceans respond to climate variations and climate change. My name is Adele Morrison. I study oceanography at the Australian National University in Canberra. At the centre of their work is how water moves around the planet. Surface currents are powered by wind patterns, but deep underwater currents are driven by different layers of density in a process known as overturning circulation. The ocean plays a big role in global climate by moving heat and carbon and also nutrients around, which affects ecosystems in the ocean. Changes that happen in one small location, like say near Antarctica, can then have a global influence because those waters move all throughout the whole planet. And it's the Antarctic overturning circulation that has these scientists worried. They're two of the authors of a landmark study published in Nature that makes a dire projection closely related to the melting of the ice caps. And what we see in that simulation is that the meltwater rate that we expect to, to play out over the next few decades is enough to slow down that overturning at a very dramatic rate, about 40% reduction by 2050. Meltwater is a clear consequence of climate change. As ice caps melt, huge amounts of fresh water enter the oceans. The resulting reduction in salinity makes the water much less dense, meaning it doesn't sink with the same force. So the dense water is important because it's um, a major driving factor in the global overturning circulation, which is this conveyor belt of waters that move around the whole ocean. And so this formation of dense water pushes that water down into the abyss and then throughout the rest of the global ocean that moves up again in different places around the globe. A slowdown in the overturning, particularly by 40%, would have a profound impact on marine ecosystems. The thing about the oceans is that all of the marine life that we have at the surface, when it dies off, it, it sinks to the bottom of the ocean. So there's a lot of nutrient-rich water in the ocean abyss. If we slow down the overturning circulation that brings that very bottom water back up to the surface, we cut off a way that nutrients get back to the surface to regenerate marine life. Their projection is based on advanced modelling that doesn't just factor in meltwater, but captures key regions of Antarctica with unprecedented skill. And this is particularly important around Antarctica because there's a lot of small-scale processes that are important for this dense water formation. A slowdown of the North Atlantic overturning circulation has already been documented. But this latest study shows that overturning in the Antarctic region could decelerate at twice the rate. I should also say there's actually evidence in the ocean abyss that the mechanism we've described is already playing out. There's been significant warming of the ocean abyss and that's exactly what our model projections show, that as the ice melt slows the overturning circulation down, you do get a warming of the ocean abyss. And if anything, our models are a bit behind where the observations are already tracking. So all the evidence we have suggests that we will have a slowdown of this overturning circulation in the next couple of decades.